Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday, happy Monday. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, I'm driving around and I, <clears throat> pardon, I am promise that I'm watching the road. I know I have sunglasses on. Y'all probably can't see where my eyes are half the time. But um, now I wanted to get on and um, share a little something today because I was getting all like kind of fired up. I, uh, this is the second time it's happened and it, it was a little bit aggravating, but it's just kind of the way that it is, is like, I, um, completely got my time for yoga class mixed up today, and I showed up half an hour late, and went to walk in the door, and it was locked, and I was like, wait, what just happened here? You know, it's 4.30, I thought class was at 4.30, oh no, it was, it started at 4. <laughs> it's one of those things that, like, I had to do a check of like, okay, I'm like, you know, trying to be Miss Zen, going to a yoga class, getting my yogic vibes on, and, you know, then like freak out because I missed class. Like, I'm like, that's, that's not an option. Um, but I had a moment there where I was like, oh my God, really? Like, this is ridiculous. But I had the notion of just like, in general, thinking of, hey, you know, there are people in much greater stressful situations than I am showing up to a class 30 minutes late. Can I send out some positivity and some prayers, thoughts, whatever you want to call it to them and just realign myself with all the goodness and gratefulness that I have in my life and love on other people and not, you know, not be frustrated, not be frustrated with myself with like getting my schedule mixed up and not be, you know, an angry driver out on the road. <laughs> you know, how can I, how can I realign myself with just like good, good stuff, good energy and that kind of thing. And, um, it reminded me actually, I, I kind of wanted to talk about one of the reasons why I do what I do and what compels me to grow and to share. And, um, I don't think that this is something that I shared before is that when I was, um, 14 years old. It was just going through a lot. My parents had divorced when I was younger and um, just had like a lot of inner turmoil that I didn't know what to do with. And my parents, you know, they didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> and <laughs> I, um, I remember sitting in my room one day when I was 14 years old and I was like, I was praying to something. I don't know what. And I was just distraught, like in just complete distress. And I didn't know where this concept came from. It made no sense to me at all. It, I, it's not like I was like watching TV or something and like fabricated it in my brain, but it was this inspiration that came to me that there were, there were three things. One was there are people in the world going through worse than you are. And number two, that your story can help them. Uh, and number three is that you'll share it. And that's stuck with me. That's, you know, 12 years ago now, 12 or 13 years ago now. And I really do live that. I mean, I have sh had my share of shit in my life. And it has always prompted me to ask questions and to seek out healing. And I was talking with a friend last night. I said, you know... Every time that I've sought out healing in my life, every time that I've sought out anything in my life, I have found it. And I, I believe that. I believe that to be true. I believe that, that anybody, you know, who seeks out healing for themselves from a, from a past hurt or, you know, seeks out a goal that they have that they want to see in their lives, like, yeah, there will be things that, you know, are very unique to each person and their circumstances and their lives and all of that it's 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 an incredible journey and an incredible just thing to to fathom of all the different possibilities out there um between you know who people are their challenges and then their goals and desires and all of that but there's a specific formula for you like if you're watching this and you're like man like I've always wanted to do x well don't give up on x I, I don't believe in, I don't believe in giving up on your stuff, whatever it is. I, I can't imagine it. I can't imagine it. Like there's a piece of me, I'll be transparent with you. I love to sing. I love to sing. I have sang since I was like five and 
I'm not doing anything with it right now and it drives me a little bit bonkers sometimes because I feel like I have, you know, somewhat of a talent. I'm humble. You know, I, I can sing. I know I can. And I want to do something with it. And I was for a little bit of time earlier this year and somebody asked me about it recently and I was like, no, I'm not doing anything right now. And it broke my heart. You know, so I can only imagine, you know, I'm sure if I brushed it off to the side enough that, sorry, my um, little thing on my, I'm, I'm not moving right now. My little clasp on my car is uh, broken, unfortunately, which I, I don't know how that happens. Uh, I, I'm sure that if I pushed it out of my mind for long enough, I would eventually just kind of settle into this place where I forget about it or it just doesn't, you know, become as pressing or important to me anymore. But just one of my values in my life is that I want to, I want to use up all the potential that I have within me. I want to live life to the fullest. And I think that a lot of people feel that way and get, can get bogged down by circumstances or missed opportunities and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, so that's my Sunday rant. Happy Monday and have an awesome day. I'm going to park my car and I'm going to email Amazon and let them know that their little uh, container thing for my, not container, I don't know what you call this thing, dashboard holder for my phone is crappy. Okay. Bye.